Hi, this is Mu'ad from JB Academy. In this video, I'm gonna talk about very important lesson in grade five, which is lesson uh, nine three. In this lesson, we gonna talk about use multiplication to divide. So our objective will be today, use multiplication to divide by fractions. Here in this lesson, we want to divide by fractions and we, we want to use multiplication to check our answers. So how I divide by a fraction? Let me show you something. If I'm dividing three, divide one over two. This is the first example. I want to divide three whole numbers by halves. How it means how many halves in three holes? How many halves in three holes? So if I use models, look, I have three holes. And the question is how many halves we have? So we divide them into halves. So if you count the halves, then you know how many halves we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer will be six. Now let me use multiplication to check my answer. Six multiply half. I put one here, then one multiply six. If you remember how to multiply fractions, we multiply six by one equals six, and two times one equals two. So the answer is three. It's the same as dividend. So in previous lessons, we get used to talk about multiplying fractions and mixed numbers. In these lessons, we are talking about dividing by fractions. I will give you another example. In this example, I'm dividing three by quarters. Three divide one over four. So guys, I will show you in, three, in two ways by using models and by dividing the, using the rule of dividing by fractions. To use the rule of dividing by fractions, we need to remember three words. Keep me, change me, and flip me. We can write it as K, just to remember, C, F. Not K, F, C. Keep me, so I keep the first number as it is. Now, the second one, uh, change me and flip me. In, uh, what I might be uh, mean by keeping, you can keep three as it is, or write as three over one. But in this lesson, we are focusing on models, how we use models to understand. But in uh, coming lessons, we will talk about using uh, this way, or using the dividing by fractions rule. So now, here, if I'm dividing three by one over four, or three divide quarters, if I have three holes, I divide them into quarters. One over four, one over four, one over four, like this. So each part is represent one over four. So how many quarters we have in the three holes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So the answer will be 12. If we use now the division rule, so I have three divide one over four. Now keep me three, change me to multiplication and flip me four over one. So now I want to multiply these two fractions instead of dividing them. I put one as the numerator of three. Then as you remember how to multiply fractions, three multiply four equals 12. 12, one D multiply one equals one. So and the answer is 12, as we have mentioned here. Now how I check by multiplication. Now I divide the quotient by the divisor to check if I get the dividend or no. I just multiply here. 12 multiply one over four. So I put here one as the numerator for 12. 12 multiply one equals 12, four multiply one equals four, 12 divide one equals three, is the same as dividend. 
Now it's your turn. I will give you example. Try to pause the video. And do it yourself. Then check your answer. Continue the video and check your answer. And check your understanding. Here is the example. Let me say 2 divide 1 over 5. So how many fifths? How many 1 over 5s? In two holes. First of all, I use models as you know. I have two holes. I divide each one of them into five parts because I said fifth. Five equal parts. So now I count how many one over fives in two holes. In each one I have five, and so in two holes I have ten. I have ten fifths or one over five. So to check my understanding or check my answer, I multiply the quotient 10 by 1 over 5 the divisor. Then here 1 times 10, 10, 5 multiply uh, 1, 5 equals 2. The same as dividend here. Try by yourself. Pause the video and then here before you do this question pause the video then do it yourself then check your understanding in the future when you divide by fraction you will learn in coming lessons that when you divide by fractions you use this way if you don't want to use the models keep me change me and flip me then we will multiply instead of dividing that's all for our lesson today thank you very much